Digital Health Live Studio, sponsored by United Healthcare. I'm Ligia Ricciardi with Clear Voice Consulting, and I am here today talking with two doctors from Cedar Sinai. We have Dr. Itai Danovich and Dr. Brennan Spiegel. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So I understand you guys are here talking today about uh, the opioid crisis. Just how big a problem is that? So the. Uh the opioid crisis is an enormous crisis. In fact, it's been described as an epidemic, uh, and it impacts over uh, 30,000 people a year who die as a result of an unintentional in overdose. In the U.S. In the United States alone. Yeah, wow. Over the last 15 years, over half a million people have died as a result of an unintentional overdose. And it's a unique drug epidemic in as much as uh, uh, in comparison to other drug epidemics, it's largely driven by health behaviors and by physician prescribing. Mm -hmm. So what can, you know, we're here at CES. What is the potential role that technology can play in helping us to address this? I know there are many factors that contribute to this, but what, what can te technology do to help us? Sure, well, I'll make a high-level comment and then um, uh, turn it over to Brennan Spiegel, my colleague, to, uh, to to describe some specific examples. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot that we know that actually works to help people both with substance use disorders, people with chronic pain and pain mm -hmm. issues, and also people that are vulnerable to overdose because they're misusing opioids in some fashion. Yeah. We have two problems. One is we don't do a good job of reaching the people who need help with interventions that we know to be effective. Yeah. Um, and we also are not sufficiently taking advantage of, of uh, technological solutions that um, help people uh, access services and help people mm -hmm. um, make use of these services in ways that have a meaningful impact. So one of the things that, uh, that, that Brennan Spiegel does and that I've collaborated with him on is to evaluate a variety of strategies to actually um, uh, engage and activate patients or consumers um, and directly impact them with respect to pain and their patterns of opioid use. Brennan, could you give us a couple examples? Yeah, well, you know, we've been focused on using technology at the point of care. Yeah. When the prescriptions are being rendered, how can we interfere with that process to nip it in the bud? So we use, for example, virtual reality. Yeah. Virtual reality, very powerful technology that we've demonstrated can reduce pain by almost 25% without yeah. any opioids. So if we can find a way to get virtual reality in the hands of doctors and their patients before they prescribe the opioid, mm -hmm. then that has potential to sort of bend the curve of prescribing just so enough to reduce dependency. So it's less necessary to even take the drug that might get you hooked if exactly. you can manage it through VR. Yeah. yeah. Any other, uh, just real quick, any other examples yeah, so of technology? Yeah, so very briefly, you know, we're yeah. using just simple things like the yeah. electronic health record itself. Yep. Can we use clinical decision support and provide patients and doctors with tools at the point of care to remind them about the evidence around opioids yep. uh, and the risks so that we can change that conversation right there at the point of care and reduce opioid prescribing? Perhaps even tracking what and where people have already been prescribed Absolutely. a particular yes. drug and tracking patterns and so on? We have the, we have the digital breadcrumbs of all of that. We need to collect it and present it in a meaningful way to, at the front lines of care. Excellent. So would you say you're uh, optimistic? Well, I think it's, optimistic? it's a complex problem, but yes. we're making inroads slowly and we're excited to be a part of the, Excellent. Uh, of the solution. Well, thank you for contributing to that solution. Thank you. Um, that was uh, two fabulous doctors from, doctors, uh, from Cedar sinai Medical Center. And you are with the Digital Health Live Studio, sponsored by United Healthcare. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah.